Shalom, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Call Hala, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha Recha Kodesh, double honor to the real leaders and teachers of the nation of Israel, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's continuing in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, in all fear, Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. I'm going to jump right into it. The book of Romans, chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. And we have been brought into the marvelous light of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, through the men that the Most High have set up through Yahweh Shah, which are the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and the men that subscribe to the teachings of the men of Great Millstone, the apostles and the elders, are subscribing to the teachings of Yahweh Shah. All right, and in these times that we're living in, which are the beginning times of Jacob's trouble, the only men that are going to have comfort are the men that are prescribing to the men of Great Millstone because the men of Great Millstone are bringing out Yahweh Shah. All right. We we hear the, the lamb's voice. Okay. And we are the only men on the planet that are going to have comfort. All right. Right now and in these upcoming times. All right. Why? Romans 15 and 4 again. For whatsoever things was written aforetime was written for our learning. All right. Learning about our forefathers. Okay. That never was confounded pursuant to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 10 that believed on the names Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah all right and his only begotten son's name Yahweh Shah okay which is the savior of the elect of the nation of Israel okay those things that was written aforetime should build up our faith in these times now all right all the way from the exit exodus out of Egypt all right until these times when we're finna exodus up out of what this modern day Egypt, this spiritual Egypt, America. Okay, it says we through patience and patience is suffering, man. Okay, and we are suffering for the names Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah's sake. We shall suffer for the names Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah's namesake. All right, and for the gospel's sake. All right, having patience, seeing these uh, homosexuals, okay, uh, run rampant, okay, like it's the right thing to do, seeing. A wicked man rule over us and we having no power, all right, to, to liberate ourselves from up under this wicked rule, all right, that's having patience. And in the midst of that, doing the work of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, all right, staying uh, 10 toes down for Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, all right, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, in the gospel sake, it says, in, in comfort of the scriptures, all right, these scriptures are the comforter, all right, comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right. And through the scriptures, through us learning uh, our history, learning who we are. Now we have hope. All right. Because we have the skin. All right. And starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and the rest of the brothers that subscribe to Yahweh Shai. OK. We have hope. OK. And that hope is our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, coming into the, uh, coming to deliver us. OK. Out of this captivity, out of this bondage, out of this toilet bowl, America. We are being raised out of that lower state, all right, because this toilet bowl America is that lower state for us, all right, and we have been raised up because we have been comforted, all right, by the scriptures. This is the book of St. John, chapter 14, and verse 22. Judas said unto him, and that him is our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, not Iscariot, Lord, how is how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? All right. And that's our comfort because the most High have manifest the glorious things that we are going to receive through our Lord and our savior. Yahweh shot unto us through the men that he, he have set up. All right. That's us receiving this comfort. It says verse 14. So like it, chapter 14 and verse 23, Yahweh shot said, Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and will make our abode with him. All right? And we, uh, Lord willing, be those men loved 
Yahweh Shah, all right, in the ancient times, okay? That's why we woke up uh, to this word right now, through the mercy, all right, that the Most High have bestowed upon us, all right, to be comforted, all right, or comforted in this gross darkness, okay, with the light, which is Yahweh Shah, all right? And that love is what? This knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, all right? That the Most High has bestowed upon us through Yahweh Shah, all right? The scripture says in uh, St. John chapter 15, uh, uh, he that abideth in me, I in him, all right? Verse 24 says, he that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings, and the world which ye hear is not mine, but the fathers which sent me. Verse 25, these things have I spoken unto you being yet present with me. All right. And we heard the words of Yahweh Shah. All right. Back then. Okay. That's why we woke up to this truth uh, uh, in this gross darkness. We've been waking up to this truth time and time again in different uh, kingdoms doing the same job, which is prophesying the downfall of that current kingdom. All right. And we uh, believed in Yahweh Shah then. All right. We was, uh, 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 amongst the disciples, all right, Cer certain brothers are the disciples back in the reincarnations, reincarnations, Cer certain brothers uh, uh, believed in, in the teachings of the disciples, and Yahweh shot, all right, through the disciples had many followers, man, all right, brothers are waking up back in their lot, the scripture says, St. John 14 and 25, these things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, which whom the Father sent in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. All right. And that's why our pure minds have been stirred up by the way of remembrance, which are the scriptures, man, which is comfort that we have received. Okay. That same comfort that yet Yahweh Shah died for us to have in these times. All right. Back 2000 and some odd years ago. All right. We have received that comfort right now and we are the only ones that's going to be comforted we are the only ones that are are, are comforted right now because we are, are enjoying seeing the destruction of this place everybody else all right when everything do uh, uh get to its peak is going to be bugged out of their mind but we're going to be comfort all right through faith and, and and hope of the scriptures man all right because we trust in these scriptures which is Yahweh Shah. this is the book of luke Chapter 8 and verse, verse 17, it says, For nothing is secret, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come to abroad. All right, and come abroad, Salakia. Because we have received uh, uh, the secrets of the Most High through Yahweh Shah, setting up the men that he has selected from the beginning. All right. That's mercy from the Most High. All right? The scripture says what? The Most High will do nothing, but surely he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. All right? And that's comfort. That's why we got the comfort, because we are comforted, comforted in, in, in all things now, because we have the skin, we have the breath, all right? And we have the prophecies, all right? And we have faith in the prophecies. We have the gift of faith, all right? We are, we are comforted on all levels, all right? Lord willing, if we endure unto the end, all right? Um, the book of Psalms, chapter 147, because the scriptures are comforting words to those who understand. This is Psalms, chapter 147, in verse 19, it says, He showed his word unto Jacob, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, on down to the so-called Mexicans, but the only ones that are receiving the words right now, all right, is the elect of the nation of Israel, Israel, those that are being comforted. It says his statues and his judgments unto Israel. Verse 20, he have not dealt so with any nation. And those are comforting words, man. Once you learn who you are, he, he have only dealt with us and he is only going to deal with us through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us, okay, to, for us to enter back in our rest, not the rest of the heathen nations and two thirds of our people, starting with the so-called wicked which is the, the self-proclaimed uh, uh, modern-day white man. It says, and as for his judgments, they have not known him. Yeah, those secret things. We have received those secret things, which are, are, are having us in a, in a, in a uh, state of comfort, 
It says, praise ye the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. All right. Those, those names. All right. Which are strong towers that the righteous run unto and safe and, and, and is safe. Okay. Those, those are, are things of comfort that we have received. Okay. Lord willing, we endure in it. We will deliver. We will, we will get uh, that ultimate comfort, which is deliverance. All right. Lord willing, I pray that this been edifying. All right. And also comforting words. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Call Hala, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, Shalom and death to America.